Mrs. Rosalind and Beth got you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for being able to take the time out um, just to be able to see things that are coming your way, being able to educate yourself, uplift yourself, and getting strength from the powers that be. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you um, are comfortable enough, I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if you are right down you know, uh, positive feedback to the content of my video. You're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. And if you uh, feel like the video is giving you good vibes or even good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend that's going through some trying times, even a fellow empath, they're going through trying times, you know, they need uh, uplift or just trying to find their sole purpose or even their life purpose, please go ahead and share while you're at it. Please give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. I'm sorry, I got messages coming in and it's just steady distracting me. So, uh, anyways, but the video that uh, meditation music that I'm listening to right now is Activate Your Self Healing Power. 528 uh, hertz delta, deep delta binary beats accelerate healing. So I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka, seeing the people that we're connecting with. Are they from, um, are they showing us from a repeated cycle or they're guiding us to the new, to a new beginning? You know, you have to stay woke on those situations. A lot of time we connect with people for us, um, especially as Hey Oka's, we always mirror, mirroring something out. And there are some things that we still struggle with. You know, we tend to pay more attention. You know, there's a lot of times we can do something self, you know, unconsciously or whatever it is, subconsciously. You know what word I'm talking about. <laughs> but you can do things and don't notice that you're doing it. But then there can be times where people are radiating towards you or, you know, gravitating towards you just to allow you to see the things that you might, you know, you might need to do or there's things that you might need to let go of or uh, might might need to you know just work on or you know they're helping you get towards that next cycle because it's just like there's a lot of positive people that we connect with and there's a lot of negative people we connect with and i'm so blessed to be actually <laughs> connected with a lot of you know beautiful people that are gravitating in a positive way and there's a lot of things that you know i was doing in my past like there was a lot of people that would connect to me they smoking weed and stuff like that or they were just in that negative um the negative you know thought process and i was just like oh you know that's how they do and i'm just like no I, I can't be dealing with that you know if that's something in myself that i know i need to change i'm gonna go ahead and let go of that because it's just like it's very important for you to be able to pay attention to that knowing what people are connecting with you about because everybody that we connect with whether it's good intentions or bad intentions, it always teaches us something throughout that connection. And it's just a, a good thing to be able to deal with. Because I remember I seen that on a post, and I was just like, wow, that's true. You know, it's just like, it's not just a fact is for us as being hey, because we're mirroring something. There's probably something mirroring towards us that we really, truly pay attention to. Because we're out on that journey, you know, towards self-discovery, learning, healing, uh, getting you know strength from many different things that we're we're having towards our life or you know we're getting to know we're opening ourselves up to more things that we weren't even aware of which is a blessing you know because i feel like even though if if somebody is putting a negative impact in your life and that can still be a positive as well because it's just all about how you respond to it you know, I mean, there's a lot of people I just exit out my life. And, you know, usually I give them, you know, give them the reasons, this and this and that. But I'm just at that point in my life, like, if you know what I'm doing, you know what I'm trying to achieve. And you're trying to be despiteful on me. I, and if I come out your life, you can't be surprised that I did, did that. You can never come back to me and say, Rosalind, you know, why did you 
why did you, you know, block me? Why did you do this? I'm saying, you know exactly the reason why, and I shouldn't have to explain that. We, we at that age where I shouldn't even have to explain what you're doing wrong. But then there's people that have been blessed and, you know, placed in my life and really feel like a blessing to me. You know, I love to be able to help people. I love, love to be able to learn something off of, you know, wherever I'm connecting with, and them learning off of me. But it's just like, I can be proud of myself because there's a lot of times I would see red flags, you know, with us being empaths, that's our weak time. We tend to feel with our heart and not seeing, you know, what's going on in front of our faces. And that, I mean, that can be really Achilles <laughs> for us at times, but it's like, you know, there's times where you feel like, well, dad, you know, why didn't I catch on to this before? Maybe, you know, because people put a pop up on the skies is real quick, like, you know, if they're trying to get into your business or, you know, oh, you know, that type of person. Oh, you know, I'm that person you can reach out to. And it's just like with me, I don't, I don't judge anybody. You know, whoever I talk to, especially on one-on-ones, your, your situation is confidential with me. You know, you're going through situations. It's like, you know, if I've been through that, I can give you the best advice, you know, that helped me get through certain situations if it's not something I've dealt with before I will tell you I'll be honest look I don't I wouldn't know what to tell you because I never experienced that but what I would do you know that you know and if that can help somebody then you know go right ahead but it's just being a blessing to be able to connect with each, each and every person because it's like if you know you had a hard time of letting go stuff I had a hard time of letting things go because I would keep talking about it keep talking about it keep talking about it and it's just like with my situation I try not to go into detail about it I'm like yeah I went through this but you know I've overcome those certain situations I'm still healing from it you know I don't really like going into detail about it constantly all the time but being able to see things for what they truly are no matter if it's something you know indirect direct or you know hard it, it can really hurt your feelings it's just a good thing i'd rather get hurt with the true truth instead of a lie instead of something being you know cloaked over or something like that but that's a beautiful blessing because you know you're heading towards that next chapter and it's like if people are mirroring you that you see growth that's what type of people i like to have in my life the ones that are you know that are trying to achieve something to make a better life for themselves and in their surroundings you know trying to live in a positive light you know even though you can be serious but you can still have you know that sense of humor as well but being able to know that you're not all about you know because there are certain people that can be in your life and they're messy you know they they drama 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 every time you turn around you know I, I had to cut that out you know I used to deal with stuff like that back in the day when I was in my 20s and early 30s and now it's just like nah I ain't even that type of life I ain't got time for that if I want to look at drama I'll go pull up love and hip-hop or something like that but I don't like that mess going on in my life but it's a blessing to be able to experience those things because it's allowing yourself to know when you have positive people in your life that are trying to learn like you are being trying trying to be able to overcome a lot of things that they struggle with in life that's a beautiful blessing or people are just wanting to know hey how how were you able to come in tune with these certain situations i love to be able to help people that way you know because that lets me know that's your sign of strength that you you know hey i'm trying to get up on that you know that ladder too you know to be able to overcome these things because i'm really having a hard time dealing with the things that have been placed in my life and i say oh more the better you know I love to help you. I can assist you on that. I love it when I hate it when somebody coming to me and tell me something. I'm like, oh, I have never been through this before, so I wouldn't know. But thank God, the people that I've been connecting with, hey, I can help. That's no problem. Yeah, I just love to be able to do that. You know, when you can always give that person, you know, I'm that type of person. I don't, I don't, I don't put your foot around with nothing like that. I just be very straightforward towards you about things that are going on in your life that you probably need to pay attention to not to belittle nobody not you know second guess their intelligence or nothing like that because there's sometimes for a person to be biased and not really know the whole situation that you're going through and you're like hey Rosalind you know I'm you know I'm dealing with something like this what would you do you know and I will kindly tell you but I'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing either but I'm just like hey you know because I've dealt with people that felt like when they connected with me, I was going to do the changing for them or I'm going to do the homework for them. I said, no, it has to be a 50-50 thing. That 80-20, I can't deal with it. 
You know, it's just like if I'm going to help you look for change in your life, you have to be that that person that's going to do the change. And if you're you're doing all, you know, doing whatever, whatever, it, it, my my ties got to be cut with you because that's doing too much. So it's just like pay attention to the people that are connecting to you. Are they connecting to you in a healthy way? Are they connecting to you to allow you to see the cycles that you terribly need to cut ties with that could be stunning your blessing? Um, or are they the ones that's going to help lead you to the next chapter? You have to really pay attention to that. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. I would love to get to know um get get to know you a little bit better by you sitting up here giving me your feedback off of this video and my post notification. I would love to uh, give a shout out to um, Michael Groves and I'm at 77. Much love to you. And Norman Smith. And I will talk to y'all in my next video. I hope y'all have a blessed, safe weekend. Be responsible for everything you do. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always someone out there praying for your, uh, you know, better days for you. I pray for y'all each and every day. And I love you from the bottom of my heart. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You never know your kind words can really take somebody a long way because you never know what they're going through. And I will see you on my next video. Much love to you. Peace. Be wild.